Hello, today we're going to determine the behavior of a polynomial at its zeros. And in order to really do this, you have to take a polynomial and break it down into its factors. So for this example, I've already taken the polynomial and broken it down into its factors. And what we're really going to look at are the exponents on these factors. Here's why. From these factors, you can tell whether it's either going to just touch or actually go through at that zero. In fact, if it if a factor happens to have an even power, it's just going to touch. However, if a factor of the polynomial has an odd power, then it's actually going to go through. Well, let's see what we have with our polynomial and see exactly what's going on. So this polynomial basically has three zeros. It has one at x equals three, another at x equals negative two, and another one at x equals negative 4. Now let's go ahead and look at their powers. The power on this first zero is even, which means at the zero, x equals 3, this thing's just going to touch. If we look at the next factor, it has an odd power. Therefore, this one is just going to go through at that zero. Now this last one is kind of tricky. It looks like it doesn't even have a power. For ones like these, you want to imagine a one. And one is odd. So this is how you can tell that at, at x equals negative four, it will go through. Thanks for watching. If you'd like some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.